Final battle. Final area. Final everything! Good kitten internet! Uh, I literally just stopped and started. Uh, let's go ahead and head over here where we have all of the items needed now. There's really not much left to the game. Other than the poor, poor zines that are still here. Thank you for the healing. And you're dead. I'm not. Go to the altar and present to me my all-seeing eye. Go to the altar and present my wings that encompass the heavens. Wings are true at the bottom. Go to the altar and present my arms that divide the continents. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal up. Meh. Good enough. Range. Might as well use that secret sign on that. What else am I going to use it for? Not guitar. Hand pan. One's a magic carrot and the other one probably healing. No, two magic carrots. So the two we just used. Sweet. <sighs> Signs are just not what they used to be. Oh no, you actually hit me hard enough where I can't heal it in one turn. Look at our stats. We have leveled up ten times in this dungeon. Or this pair of dungeons, I should say. Interesting. Okay. So. How you doing? Oh, hey, look. Cecilia finished healing up. And now needs healing again. Jack leveled up. Cool. I'm just gonna randomly save state here, just in case if I accidentally hit load state from something. Cyclops! Didn't Cyclops actually have something I cared about marginally? Cyclops. No, no, it's the one that had bullet clips. Never mind. It's the one that I accidentally stole bullet clips from instead of paying attention. I mean, it has a lot of XP. Intruder alert. Area 51 sending the golem. Burial. Technically, I didn't have to fight the golem, but I wanted to. Look how ridiculous that golem looks. It is so ridiculous. Does Burial have anything? No. Um... This thing's not even a threat. Is it? Oh, I forgot to actually use a bullet clip on that. Whoops. Oh well. Not a big deal. Sure, why not? Slam it as hard as I can. Done about 10k damage already. Genocide Flare! That healed me by a thousand. Maybe I should have just auto-battled this. Um, I don't know. Win in doubt, randomizer. Mm, I could have also boosted up people's attack, like Rudy. 
make him do double damage. That might not have been a bad idea. Because I can't make Jack do double damage because he's pretty close to nines. Oh, I'm going to Gaia crash it. Cool. Pile bunker. You hit me for 745. Cool. <laughs> Are you even going to survive this round? You know what? Might as well. <coughs> I have a hunch this boss is really just meant to deplete your resources. Because I'm pretty sure it might be dead this round. Yep. Yep. Cool. This is actually my argument against a lot of RPGs, is that... Console RPGs, that is. Is that the final areas are always so weak. I've literally got more XP and money from random fights in this dungeon. Cool. Now that I've done that, and I don't have to worry about this at all... Oh, is there any loot in here? Yes. Sweet, it's Ambrosia, Nectar of the Gods. As opposed to Nectar, which is just Nectar of Humanity. Um, yeah, it's the final dungeon areas for a lot of JRPGs are really easy. Well, we are now done. We have officially hit the point of no return. Except we haven't. So you can actually go back to Kadingel from here. You have to go through all of what we went through again. This is the reason why I'm going to save state here. So let me just show you really fast. Yep. On through the sky. And you land back at the elevator for Kadingel. And you go back to Melduke, and I believe that puts you at the beginning of Melduke again. Which is why I was save stating. Yep. So we can actually go back at this point. Uh, is there even a re- I mean, we have gobs of money. I'm gonna do that, actually. Because I want to max out my arms. It's the only thing I have left to do with money at this point. And I can pause going back through here. Pause the recording, that is. And just do this myself. There's no content left to the game. I have done everything. Let's see what I can do for arms. Nope. That's done with upgrading. That's done with upgrading. I don't know why I'm zoomed in this case. That's done with upgrading. That's not. That's done. That's done. That's not. You know what? Let's go ahead and first upgrade this as much as I can. You know, something I might actually use, unlike the rest of this. I have no reason to use Wild Bunch. Wild Bunch is such garbage. Twenty thousand gala. 30,000 gala. 45,000 gala. And are you maxed out now? Yes, you are. I don't need to increase the hit percentage. Yeah, this does not end up mattering. Wild Bunch is a garbage weapon. I should have never thrown money at it. Phaser is an awesome weapon. I mean, it's only slightly less powerful than Wild Bunch. I don't understand Barnia, but whatever. Um, but it has double the hit percentage and far more bullet capacity. Really don't understand. I'm just gonna throw my money at things at this point.
Is it an orbs? No, it's Bazooka that can still up, but I'm out of money now. Alright. I just felt like doing that, because why not? What else am I going to do with money? Buy more magic air? I can find magic carrots from here. I guess that's just potion berries. Okay, well, that's it. I'm going to pause this recording and head back. And we're back, or most of the way back at least. I encountered this enemy, which kind of looks like a giant fat spider on regular, like, bird legs don't know what it is I've never encountered it before and I decided out this is pretty close to where we were at so this is doomsday fun fact it's not actually in the wild arms bestiary I've never seen this enemy before I'm gonna take a screenshot of it uh, screenshot Yeah, I've never seen this before, so I don't know what this enemy is, and that's exciting to me. It must be a very rare encounter or something. I'm gonna do a quick Google search to see. I can find it. Found it on the wiki. Creatures level one? A lot of money. And a hell of a lot of hit points. This must be a really rare enemy. I've never seen this one before. Which also means that I have no idea if it has any hit points. What do you have, if anything? I'm going to throw up a high shield just because. Oh, um, other things. One, yes, I did actually remember to um, fully heal. Oh, they have Ambrosia. Nice. Um, I did remember to fully heal, and I did actually do a few other things that I didn't show on camera. You can actually damage me. That's impressive-ish. Um... What else was there? Mm. Oh, and I'm pretty certain that I'm immune to status effects while wearing the uh, Sheriff's Badge, because I haven't... I fought an, one of those enemies that does a huge number of status effects to your party, and I've got nothing on anybody. So I'm pretty sure I'm actually immune to status. Prison. It's head, sweet! That means double Gela, if I remember right. You did not get imprisoned. That's unfortunate. For you! Hmm, yeah, pretty good defense, actually. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to imprison for a little bit longer. try one more time before I decide there's probably nothing. Or one more set of times, I should say. I'm gonna go with its immune to prison. That was a bit of a waste of MP, but that's fine. Can I banish you? Yes, I can. Well, that means counterattack might kill him, unfortunately. Graviton! Thanks for the healing. 
actually dealt damage. Neat. Mystic. Bone? Right, I don't have bone. Forgot. Uh, randomize or not randomizer. Um, lucky shot. Probably should have analyzed to see how low it was on hit points. So that's probably not going to do enough to matter. Yeah, it's 179 damage. That's going to take a while. Not that they're doing anything to me, but you know. Uh, let's go ahead and dual cast. Lucky Shot, then Analyze. Because if Lucky Shot works, I'm fine. And if it doesn't work, I need to know how many hit points that has left. Lucky Shot first. One. 6,008 hit points remaining. But it's imprisoned. I don't know how much more damage I'm doing as a result of that. 2008 minus 859 is 5149. So if I'm right, it's time for more science, apparently. Good thing that we have our own episode for this. Uh, this. Uh, analyze. 5149? 149. Okay. Get your organism missling. That's fine. Okay. Lucky shot. I'm going to dump a huge amount of MP at Lucky Shot, aren't I? Darn it, I... Uh, stupid controller undid my calculator. So I'm going to defend and analyze again. Twenty-seven thirty-two. Ooh, that's going to be hard. I think I'm going to have to attack with Rudy. Lucky shot. Nineteen eighty-five. You have seven hundred and forty-seven hit points. You have five forty-one. Okay. You have five hundred and forty-one hit points remaining. Dual casting is not going to be enough, but it's going to get close. I'm sorry, one. I need you to not attack somebody. Good. All right, one to two more lucky shots should be enough, depending on luck. As in how much damage I do. Lucky shot. Um... I'm going to go ahead and save state here, I guess. This might have been a bad idea. 169. That's fine. And then finally, lucky shot. All right. What do you actually have on you? You have 33 hit points. You're going to die from lucky shot. You are going to give me what you drop. It's probably another Ambrosia, but whatever. 10,000 XP. 30,000 Gallop, because I had it doubled. Force unit. Nice. Because I already have one. It's the one that increases your force. Which would have been nice if it weren't for the fact that I already had those. But, you know, good to know. I'll, uh, let's see, that guide. When was it last updated? Probably sometime in maybe four years. 2002. I will email this person with that information. 
then it's ambrosia and force unit. Cool. I scienced because I wrote it down. Otherwise, just goofing off. Anyway, we're basically at where we need to be at this point. I think it's like the next floor up is the one that actually has um, what we're looking for. Yeah, because this is where we fought Burial. And yep, okay, we're back where we were. Let's go ahead and save. All right. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I need to eat massive amounts of magic carrots. I don't care. <laughs> Arrange things. Laser. Mark. Wild bunch. None of the rest of that's getting used. Let's go. Malduke Central Control. Do you wish to enter? This is the... Are you sure you want to fight the final boss? I did not walk in. We are on rails at this point. And now we're not. Okay, I can walk out. I thought that was the point where we were done. Hmm. Neat. Okay. Let's go back in again. Are you ready, Asim? Remember this site? Remember that person? Well. Let's make sure we have the correct picture here. Do I not have Siegfried? Really? I could have swore I had a picture of Siegfried. Oh, oh well, it's a bit late now. You're too late! Or I should I or you're late. I should say, too late. Hmm. You know what? It's going to bother me. I'll be right back. Uh, there, that's better. Quarter Knight Leader should definitely have their own picture. It's not a great one, but whatever. You're too late. Look at the little planet down there. That's your fool Gaia. Watch as it shatters into oblivion! No! You can't do that! Malduke isn't your ordinary colony. It has ground assault capabilities. Thousand-year-old human city in the sky. Now it's mine to do as I choose. Burn! Burn to the ground! Pure power does not discriminate. All power is destined to destroy. The guy is our home. We won't allow this! All right, quarter night theme. Let's fight Zig. Sweet, sweet Zig. Start with the trump card. Wow, Jack already has six thousand hit points. I just noticed. Dang, dang. Right, uh, phasers at the top now. I forgot to rearrange that. Uh, Cecilia. Hey. I really have no idea. Um, how about Hyper on Dear Dear Rudy? Jump card. Zig really looks like a human from that angle. Negative rainbow! That almost hurt. I'm healing 600 turns, so it's not worth bothering to do anything about that. Why not? 
Yeah, because the regen is definitely 10% of your hit points a turn. Head on, you can't even see it. Negative rainbow again! Oh no, I might want to heal at some point, maybe. Maybe. bunches of votes and why not <coughs> all nines well that was an easy boss battle <laughs> cannot fall yet I have to stay myself I cannot control it's too early for us I will not give up my body ah! 16,666 experience received. Destruction will not bring our future, Siegfried. You lose. Lose? Fool, you haven't a clue. Destruction's just the beginning. Is that right, Siegfried? The power of absolute darkness. The eternal nothingness will devour Vilgaia with the teeth of fire. We cannot avoid death. Watch as your planet's final flame of life goes out. I mean, there is a reason why I constantly say poor, poor Phil Gaia when it comes to anything whatsoever. Stop! Please stop it now! What do you want with a world where nothing exists? What benefit is there, I, suffering like this? It's supposed to be in, but... <laughs> <laughs> Cry out, repent! Your defeat gives me such a warm feeling inside. It feels so good. Now the pure extinction of life begins. This is your final lesson, humans. All will come to a sudden halt, like a machine being turned off. There is nothing beyond the end of life. It... It cannot be. This force is the same as Mother. I am Mother Freed! I have become one with my beloved child. I have returned, reborn of my own flesh. Siegfried has been engulfed, like a baby being cradled by a mother. So you can see Siegfried's helmet. Yeah, I do have mouse. You can see Siegfried's helmet inside of Mother Freed's arms. I never noticed that until I had played on an emulator. Because I just couldn't tell with a crappy CRT. Wow, this is getting out of hand, let me tell you. That thing grew up inside of Siegfried and basically consumed him to become the thing that we're fighting now. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I am the ultimate beauty. The rejoining of a mother and her child. Satisfy me with your last dance of agony. Welcome to Mother Freed. She's still holding the helm. It's just even harder to see now. All right, real final battle time. Trump phase hyper Rudy, and everybody's fully healed again. <laughs> Power doubled. All smugna. It healed me by four to six. I'm gonna have to watch this video again. Did that actually restore my MP? Because I was fully healed before. Or I thought I was. Maybe I was off by a little bit. Anyway, doesn't matter. Trump. Hyper Jack. I actually don't know if Hyper works on Trump card. 
because I haven't done the analy an analysis of it. 7801, dang. Wild Bunch, which definitely has an effect from Hyper. Osmangna. All right, if this does zero, 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 then I know it was not MP. Okay. I really don't know what that's doing. I think it's giving me back MP. One thirty two MP. And yeah, it Hyper definitely has an effect on drum card. One thirty two. I'm gonna remember that if Oz Magna happens again. There's a High Guardian Raftina. Not that I needed it. I'm just doing damage with it. Fatima's miracle. Dispelled magical effect. So that one dispels hyper. Good to know. In this case, double attack actually does make sense, because that does more than 4999 damage, so. Uh, let's go ahead and lock on with a wild bunch, and uh, start hyper again, I guess. Yeah, broody. I mean, there's no reason to conserve MP, right? Nope, oh, dead. Even if my flesh is destroyed, I will always have a home at the end of time. Vilgaia will not be able to escape the darkness that is upon it. Nothing can stop the end from arriving. Herk. 20 grand XP. Looks like Motherfreed's just choking herself. And all of the planets go inside of Motherfreed. Wait, what? I don't understand the planet thing. All that we've accomplished was for nothing? It's all coming to an end? A lot of Intera bangs there, Cecilia. I don't think so. I feel the power. I'm not gonna let this happen. No way, I must do something about this. I can see it so clearly now. I can feel the life energy from the teardrop. The teardrop is responding to the power of protection. The power of the guardians. We fight because there's. we must have something worth protecting. That is why we believe in miracles. The bright light of the teardrop. Did the spirit of a thousand years past come to life? The voice is inside my heart again. Has the power of the Guardians been restored? The teardrop is glowing, just as it did in the days when Felgaia was a rich and fertile land. The power to behold. Oh, the power. All of the Guardians have gathered together onto the Shaman Child. Not into, onto. They're literally standing on top of Cecilia. We shall rid this planet of darkness once and for all. Teardrop, give us the power once more. And hey, look, no more darkness. The darkness has faded. This is the power of the guardians and the teardrop. This is the absolute power. Absolute power. <laughs> we are the protectors of Filgaia and the teardrop. Behold, you humans have experienced the wounds of our land and the hearts of its people. Somehow, you have found your faith again, and you have created a better future for Filgaia or Filgaia, and yourselves. It will take time, but as long as people care enough for the planet, the flow of decay can be reversed. Purity of heart makes the impossible possible. You humans are the real guardians of Filgaia. You hold the key to Filgaia's future. Humans are the guardians of Filgaia? What the hell are you talking about? Not all humans have light, the light in their heart. 
but we sense that it will not be too long before everyone does. And it's gone. It'd take a miracle to accomplish that. This isn't the end, but a new beginning. Rudy, Jack, let's get back to Philgaia. All right, so might as well show off some final stats, right? Jack at level 60, he has maximum attack power. I just noticed that. <laughs> yep, maximum attack power. And it's not, and Doombringer is almost maximum attack power even. Anyway. Uh, he also has really high strength. Really high everything. Holy crap, Sheriff Star does a wonder on these people. Rudy. Rudy has nothing anywhere near what Jack has in any regard whatsoever. He only has a little bit more defense, and that's it. But since there's only three characters in the game, Rudy's still very useful. Um, has basically 700 hit more hit points, and that's it. Cecilia, on the other hand... Wow, that's really low sorcery. It's because... Um, so technically, Cecilia's best equipment would be the Necronomicon. Uh, I've definitely had 999 sorcery, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Get some better luck. Anyway. So yeah, Cecilia is much lower in stats outside of magic. And magic resistance for obvious reasons. Hmm, she's almost caught back up with Rudy on response rate again. Hmm, wonder what's up with that. But anyway, you can see that Cecilia, even though she's one level lower, actually has more XP than Rudy. So they're definitely doing something weird with the XP. And so that's it, right? Uh, we're at the end. Let's let's go home. I'm doing pretty good. 37 minutes. And we've got this music going. Remember, there was the exit right over here, back to Coddingel. This is the power switch for the dimensional elevator. Destination reads Coddingel. Do you want to activate it? Actually, hold on a moment. Let's really make sure everything's at maximum for no given reason whatsoever. Let's activate it. Let's go home. Welcome to the true final boss of Wild Arms, Zigtuvai. Don't think you're getting off that easy. We're not done yet. That voice. Is that Siegfried? Did he get eaten by mother and absorbed within her? I I'm pretty sure I saw that. You saw that too, right? Yeah. I ditched mother and returned from hell. I am Zigtuvai, the Revenge Blade. I actually don't know what the Tuvai is referring to in this case. In this artificial place between the land and the sky, your destiny will end here. You can die by my blade or being be crushed between the dimensions. The choice is yours. All right, Zig Tufai, which is labeled as Zigfried for some reason. So there is something special about Zig Tufai, and I mentioned it way back at the start of the game. But the final boss of the game has a sleep spell. And it will screw you over if you don't cast Awaken right in the beginning. Wait, I'm immune to all status effects, aren't I? Oh well. <laughs> I guess Cecilia's turn will be wasted. I just realized. But we're really protected from sleep now. Proton Beam! By the way, Zeke is not at all scary. Although that was a lot of damage. I mean, it was healing, but still, you know what I mean. Zing is pretty much the weakest enemy in the game. Or weakest boss in the game relative to your power in my mind. Well, maybe not the weakest. There was one that only lasted one round, wasn't there? Let's 
storm card. Seven K damage is really nice because Jack has six thousand hit points. I think it might actually be his hit points plus his attack, like a regular ordinary attack. Five grand hit points. That's gonna start doing nine 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 nine. Oh yeah, Zig heals himself. I forgot about that. But you know what? He can only heal nine 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 damage, and I'm doing a lot more than that now. So I don't care. More arc smashing. Um, let's go ahead and get a hyper up on Jack. I mean, I've had a game, well, actually, if I equip the maximum hit point thing on Rudy, Rudy would actually have 9999 hit points, wouldn't he? I heal again? Sure. Go right ahead. Only can gas reflect on you. Trump. Lock on, arc smash. Dual cast. Um. Let's do it. Dual cast randomizer. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, both Jack and Rudy at this point should be doing 9999 damage. Which means I don't even think Zigtufi has enough hit points. Oh no, actually it's not. Dark Ray, is that even going to do damage? Yeah, it does, okay. And regen on us. That was useless, but okay, cool. Dark Ray is nice. You're casting silence. You fool. Yeah, I'm immune to status effects, sucker. Trump. Lock on arc. <sighs> Why not? I don't think it's gonna matter. Actually, I'm wondering if hyper only lasts three turns is the reason why I wasn't doing nine. Yeah, I'm doing normal damage again. I guess I have to constantly cast hyper. Honestly, that's not the worst idea. But Zig's dead. <laughs> Look! I've given you so much damage in this unstable artificial space. As I said before, battle in artificial space is very risky. Our previous battle was nothing compared to this. We'll all be blown away! Technically, he did not actually succeed at doing damage to me, but whatever. <laughs> no one can beat me! Someone who is destined to rule cannot lose. Arrgh. Zip. No XP given. No money given. Things really bright. I don't think I have control anymore. And Kadigal is taking the brunt of it. But we actually make it. The targeting system's off. The stress of the previous battle is taking its toll on Kadigal. Yeah, I actually don't. The Earth Golem, what? I, I didn't ask the Earth Golem to do anything. Yeah, I have no control now. Anti-phasing shield. Is that going to do anything? Tower is not exactly able to hold itself much longer. All we've got left is to believe in that golem. I don't know why Jack actually knows any about this, but, you know, whatever. Boom! Yep. Wow. That's a defense mechanism. Um, have the earth golem keep it up. I, I didn't do anything. It's doing it on its own. So he had his own will. Stop, Earth Golem! Stop, you're gonna die! Thank you. Thank you for protecting us. That's really short, because I actually, again, I'm not touching controls at this point. Uh, 
And there's the Earth Golem. Hello, Asgard. Are you asleep? Oh, do I actually have control? Uh, no, I don't. Sure did well. Yeah, I've got nothing. I want to stay here with you as long as I can, but... There's a lot of things left for me to do in Filkaya. Next time you wake up, I promise you will see a peaceful Filkaya. You'll be surrounded by joyous people and nature. Till that day comes, good night, Earth Golem. Good night, Asgard. See, do you understand why I mentioned that Cecilia is the uh, main character of Wild Arms 1? Good night. Because, like, none of this makes any sense if Rudy's the main character. That was just Cecilia. Cecilia's the one that woke up the Earth Golem to begin with. Jack, yeah, he had his own mission and his own objectives and so on, but... This was just Cecilia. Cecilia did basically everything. With lots of help. I'm not saying that it's just Cecilia, but... Cecilia's the main character of the game. And I don't think... Sorry. I don't think that... Anything else makes sense. Dun dun dun! Jack and Rudy just walking. That outline looks so weird with the upscaling in this. Oh. I didn't really want to get my PS1 working. Rudy, sometimes I can't believe we're traveling like this. That we survived that huge explosion. Felt like I woke up and it was morning. You and the princess were preparing for the journey. Yep, there goes Hanpan. Fourth character. That's not like you. You still don't believe in reality? I, I don't understand what Hanpan's saying there, but whatever. Oh, I just remembered. Princess gave me a letter. She said I shouldn't read it until after we had left the castle. Hey, Handpan, why don't you read it now? I swear Jack can't actually read. Me? Yeah, it's kind of your job. You read the things. Here you go. Handpan is the fourth character. I wonder where everyone will be when you read this letter. I wonder if it will be sunny, or if it'll be raining. Maybe it's because I experienced a painful battle, but I feel very comfortable in this ordinary life. Ordinary, you know, like saving the world and stuff, as you do. Because of the protection of Asgard, we're able to return to Filgaia again. However, Asgard's return to its slumber. Will never wake again. He doesn't have the fight. It has to be a fighting machine anymore. Good night, Asgard. When you can sleep peacefully, the world is full of tender light and peace. This is how it should be. But to tell you the truth, I'm very lonely. She's still wearing street clothes at this point. Crying over her father's grave. I was shocked when I had heard that the two of you were leaving. I thought we would always be together. I'll never forget the days when the weight of Filgaia was on our shoulders. So I think this is months later. That's my best guess. I weren't. If it weren't for you guys, I would have been crushed under the burden. I 
able to overcome the painful journey because of you. You lent a hand to such a lonely heart. Because of that, I developed the selfish thought of the three of us always being together. Move my microphone closer. Just dawned on me, it was kind of far away. Hopefully that doesn't mean all of this recording has been super quiet. Oh well. I've already heard the first part and the microphone was there before, so it can't be that bad. Ah. Oh hey look, it's everybody chasing after Jack, wanting... I don't know. Romance? Autographs? Can't tell. Oh, wait, nope, handpan's more popular. <laughs> also, that previous scene with the Jack and Rudy laughing, I think that's the only time that animation gets used. Royal send-off. Ticker tape parade, complete with confetti. For, like, three people! <laughs> and if you count the NPCs, it's nine. It's that flying H. H for Philgaia. H for Cecilia. H for Adelaide. Adelaide's the only one of those that actually has an H in it. Well, guy is not free of all the monsters. People will still need my sword. That's why I must go on. But Cecilia doesn't have a sword. It's probably a translation issue. Jack, I never thought you would say such things. Oh, that was a quote from Jack. You must have something new within yourself. It's handpan. Guess I wasn't the only one whose life has changed. You two have departed on a journey because you choose to follow the new desires in your hearts. Yeah, I think the timing is also translation based. Oh, this video is definitely getting copyright flagged. This is actually a track on the soundtrack, the entire thing. It's the Wild Arms medley. One and two both had a medley. I don't think three does. And neither does four or five. I too have decided to follow the new desires in my heart. The Princess of Adelaide shouldn't live like this. But it's my decision as an ordinary human being. I will no longer force myself to be the perfect princess. From now on, I will be an ordinary 17-year-old girl. I will think hard and be honest to myself. That must be where her age is mentioned. Cecilia, you have a surf star. You have way more strength than that. <laughs> you want to be cared by somebody? You must care for someone else first. You, Rudy, taught me that lesson. Or this lesson. What? <laughs> can't stand watching Philgaia deteriorate. I must do something. <laughs> What's going on? I want to protect what I care for. This is my new desire. Today, the west wind blew through Eldelhide once more. Remember, Zephyr is considered the west wind. A wind which promises prosperity. I pray this wind takes my desires beyond the horizon. Apparently you know who got the plane, that's for sure. <laughs> P.S. Two of you should be receiving something you've forgotten from Adelheid soon. Just saying. Don't be lazy, make sure you take it. So, the princess is also starting on her new journey. That's nice. 
But, uh, where? Eh, it doesn't matter. As long as she's doing it of her own free will. I'm sure she'll turn Adelaide into a good kingdom. She used to hate royalty so much. Oh, life of royalty is really complicated. Right, Rudy? Oh, yeah. Let her mention something about what we forgot. Eh, it must have been you. What do you forget, you careless kid? Uh, he's not like you, Jack. I wonder what it is. Too much. You deal with it. Bloop. Told you you'd be lazy. Uh, what are you doing here? What, am I not supposed to be here? Come on. I'm delivering to you the item that you forgot. And what is that? <laughs> Can't figure it out yet. Ah. So, where are we going? Uh, say what? You, you, you said you want, found what you wanted to do in the letter. Uh, so what's gonna happen, Adelaide? Yeah, you're right, Jack. I have to do something to save my precious Filgaia from deteriorating. Minister Johan will take care of Adelaide in my absence, don't worry. I decided to live the true live true to the desires of my heart. It just happened to be on the same path today. Um mm, sure about this? Um Yep, it's complete coincidence. Day, tomorrow, forever, you know, same path. <laughs> I guarantee it. You know why? Because I am the most powerful being on the planet. Right, Rudy? Gammon. <laughs> hey, don't leave us here! Look, this is the land we've been protecting. It wasn't only us, though. Yeah, I mean, we've got Zed to thank. Professor Emma, Jane, McDullen, the Captain, Pedopants, and Mariel. Every single desire that lives on Philgaia and... And, the per and staring directly at the camera. And birds are flying. Just like they do in the Overland map frequently. And lens flare out. The end. So what do you think? We've got the credits to go through still. So, interesting part about these credits. They're actually different from the US and the... Uh, Japanese version. Oh yeah, fighting a balloon! Yeah, the credits aren't just, hey look, there's different words. The entire credits are different. Like, the images that you see here, that's not the same as what the Japanese have at all. The music is different for that matter. They actually used a different remix of one of the tracks instead of the actual ending music of the game. Uh, the actual ending music of the game in Japan actually has vocals. Um, what? Wild Arms doesn't get vocals until... A secret part... Or Wild Arms in the US doesn't get vocals until a secret part of 3 and actually 4 in English. Which is a shame because the vocals are beautiful. Yep, so that's Harkin and Jack and Hanpan. I think that was supposed to be Harkin, at least. Because that's Cecilia. You notice that's the same as the cover on the soundtrack that I... Or the Japanese cover of the game. So, let me... Might as well switch that back.
do 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 do. You know, this cover. Do 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 do. That one. I don't know why they changed the ending, though. I wonder if it was a rights issue or something. But I'm pretty sure they always intended to publish Wild Arms in the U.S. There is our fan favorite, Zed! I, I think I'm his only fan. No, that's not true. Kneatir also likes Zed. There's Berserk. Also, the credit endings are, or like the length is completely different. It's really weird. Um, I'm gonna hopefully remember to actually link. Um, there's Al Hazad. Um, link on YouTube what the like a link to the credits in Japan. In case if people are curious, there's Lady Harkin. Technically, the one with Jack would have been Elmina, not Lady Harkin, because that was not Harkin form. So yeah, this is my favorite JRPG, and easily in my top five favorite games of all time, and it's important to me. There's the um, sequence in the Memory Temple, where Jack saw the first Elu. Um, that's just the cover of Wild Arms 1 in the US, in North America specifically. I actually don't know what the PAL version looks like. I don't know if I've seen it. I think it's similar to the US one, but I don't remember for sure. Yep, come on up, Isin. There's all of the testers, some of which are in North America. Uh, that one's the cover of the instruction booklet, if I remember right. Hi, Isin. And now Philgaia is perfect and there's absolutely nothing wrong. Oh, by the way, Philgaia is a terrifying desert wasteland in all of the Wild Arms series. <laughs> it's kind of its thing. So, the official timeline for Wild Arms is that each Wild Arms game is its own parallel dimension. Except that all of them also relate to each other and have re direct references to each other. So I really don't know how that works. It's kind of like if you had a game with multiple endings and you chose something that's somewhere in the middle, except the Wild Arms only has one ending. This is the only ending. I don't know who's all the way on the right. That might have been Emma? I'm not sure. That's really blurry to me too, by the way. That's not just recording. And that's it. That is Wild Arms. Hope you've enjoyed this internet and... I'll talk to you with the next net. Let's analyze. Bye.